Welcome to Flip Pilot. So good to have you in the system. This is incredible. It's completely different than anything else out there. Uh, we've got this pipeline here, this deal pipeline. And I'm gonna show you, basically walk you through a little bit of this for a quick start uh, video on how to use the system and, and where everything's at. In the description of this video, we'll have other videos that I've recorded that go into more detail. So if you feel like you didn't get a good grasp on it, this is just supposed to be a quick video to, to give you an overview. And then just look in the description of this video on YouTube and you'll see the other videos there that you can watch in the order we suggest you watch them in to get your account set up. Now we try to make this as intuitive as possible so that when you get started, you can just start using it. Basically the pipeline represents your workflow, right? As you work leads and deals through your workflow, they're gonna progress across here until they're either sold or a dead lead or any of that, okay? Not a lead is for like spam and stuff like that. So when you get new records come in, they typically start all the way here at the left under new, and then you can configure all of this. You can configure it to fit your business and set up the workflow that makes sense for your processes and what you do. And we also have color coding here on the cards based on their due time so that they're not staying in one part of your workflow for too long, longer than they should be so you know what needs attention day to day in your business. So we've got separate videos on all of that to show you how to customize it and all the different information that we show you on these cards and in the records themselves that include the property image, the maps, all that kind of stuff, notes, communications. So that's the pipeline. This is the heart and soul of Flip Pilot. This is where you're going to be spending most of your time working these records here in this. The follow-ups is where you're going to do follow-ups. You're going to just set up the automated follow-up and uh, move the records off the pipeline into follow-up so that Flip Pilot can automatically follow up for you. If you have the pro account, you can have integrations with CallRail and uh, Gmail and all that kind of stuff. So you can automatically have Flip Pilot send texts and emails to the sellers for following up for you. So that's super cool. But uh, let, me, let me explain also, so you have this Pipeline is the workflow and you want to set that up first. The next thing you want to do is probably go over to the profile and under notifications, make sure that you choose the types of notifications that you want to receive inside of Flip Pilot and uh, how you get them through either text or email or both. And so basically when a record is automatically created, that would be if you have a pro account with a webhook, so a website submission came in, you can get a notification of that. Uh, if the record goes red, meaning that it's been in a status for too long, you can get a notification for that. Uh, when a record gets a, uh, goes to yellow, and you know, which means it's almost due, if you wanna get notification, you can. And then if you're mentioned by, by somebody on your team in a note or in a checklist item, you can get notified of that as well. And then also when there's a follow-up sequence, gives a warning, that's typically if there is an issue with your call integration and something with the text, uh, if there's any kind of warning issue that goes on, you can get notification of that. All right, so you want to set up those notifications. And then the next thing that I would do is basically set up your campaigns because you want to make sure that you're tracking all of the, the records, the leads and deals that come in through your pipeline to know which marketing campaigns are producing results. Now, this is also true if you're doing prospecting. If you're looking at listed properties, put them in there and put them into like a MLS campaign or something like that. So you can keep all of, keep track of you know which records came from which campaigns and it's a very powerful thing so we talked about setting up your pipeline the process uh, the uh, notifications under your profile and then campaigns and then you add records and things over here under this add button you can add the record here and we've got a video walking through all of that you can add a new status in this column to adjust your workflow and your pipeline you can add the marketing campaign from here. And if you have the advanced, uh, the pro account, and you want to set up a web hook, you can. All that kind of stuff. And then set up the follow-up. And uh, that's what you would probably do next. But basically for setup, you're just really creating the workflow that you want. Notifications, campaigns, and then setting up your follow-up sequences. So it's very simple. You can get going and add a record as soon as you get into Flippilot because we've defaulted a certain... Um, a workflow for you and if it works for you great if you need to make tweaks you can but you can just add records now and start moving them through the pipeline and play with it and see how it all works but we've got the other videos for more information down below in the description thanks again for being a part of Flip Pilot. be sure to subscribe to the Flip Pilot YouTube channel 
and click the bell uh, icon there to get notifications of these new videos because we're constantly adding awesome features to Flippilot and want you to know about them. So thanks again for being a part of it and we'll see you.